Welcome writers, I'm Renee Latulip with the Lyrical Language Lab, the place for children's writers to learn about meter, rhyme, and lyrical language. Today I'm taking it down to the very basics of poetic meter and giving you my top five tips for training your ear to hear and identify stressed syllables. If you are writing rhyming picture books or writing poetry, you need to know this, so let's get to it. Poetic meter is based on patterns of stressed and unstressed syllables, but what do you do if you simply can't hear those stresses? In fact, I have many students who tell me that they simply cannot hear those stressed beats, and I tell them that you can train your ear to hear those stressed syllables and to find them easily so that writing in meter doesn't become an absolute torture. We're going to work with these three words today, captivate, capricious, and embrace. With the tips I'm going to share with you today, I'm going to be working backwards from hardest to easiest. Why? Because our goal is to train your ear, and the way you train your ear is by listening and speaking. So I really want you to listen to what's happening in these three words as I say them as I present each tip. Now I'm not going to give you the answers until the end because I want you to identify the stressed beat as I go through these tips. So tip number one is simply to speak slowly and to exaggerate the enunciation of the word so that you hear every single syllable separately. Captivate. Capricious. Embrace. Once you have that word broken down into its syllables, we can move on to tip number two, which is to listen to where your voice pitch goes higher when you say the word. I'm going to say the words for you now. Listen to where the pitch changes and rises in my voice as I say them. Captivate, capricious, embrace. If you've already identified the stress in those words, hooray, go have a cookie. If not, let's move on to tip number three. Listen for the syllable that takes longer to say. You may have noticed that not only did my voice rise on the stressed syllable, but I also spent more time saying it. Those stressed syllables are dragged out longer. So let's listen again, and I'm going to exaggerate even more. Captivate, capricious, embrace. They do take longer even when I'm not exaggerating. Captivate, capricious, embrace. If you think you've got it now, great, move on to the chocolate while the rest of us go on to tip number four, say it in a sentence. Sometimes you'll hear the stress better if you simply put the word in context. Once again, speak slowly, over enunciate, and of course, add a little drama for fun. You captivate me, darling. That princess is capricious. We must embrace the unknown. By now I imagine you're already three spoons into the dark chocolate gelato, but in case you're not, let's go on to tip number five. Say the word wrong. This one is actually kind of fun. I live in Italy, so sometimes when I hear Italians speaking English, they may put the emphasis on the wrong syllable. For example, spatula. I've heard it pronounced spatula, which still kind of makes me giggle, I have to admit. The point is, when you hear a word pronounced incorrectly, you know how it should be pronounced. And so I'm asking you to pronounce it incorrectly. Captivate. Captivate. Capricious. Capricious. Embrace. Clearly, all of those are incorrect. And by knowing what's wrong, you will know what's right. By now, I'm hoping that all of you have moved on to the seven layer cake, that your faces are smeared with buttercream, and that you know that the stressed syllables in these words are captivate, capricious, and embrace. And here's a little bit more info. Those syllables are called the primary stress. Not to stress you out completely, but some words of three or more syllables also have a secondary stressed syllable. So listen to this word, captivate. We know the primary stress is cap, but there's a secondary stress in there, captivate. Do you hear that on the vate? I press a little bit on that syllable as well, that's your secondary stress. Now, not all multisyllable words are created equal, and some of them simply really don't have a discernible secondary stress, like capricious. I don't add anything extra on ca or shus. 
So let's say that when it comes to the primary stress, you have got it down, but those secondary stresses are still throwing you a little bit. The first thing I would say to do is to go through tips one through five, looking for that secondary stress as well. If that simply doesn't work, then you can resort to the bonus tip. And that is look it up in the dictionary. My go-to resource for all things words is Merriam Webster online. So I'm going to share my screen and show you exactly how to find those primary and secondary stressed syllables using the dictionary. I have brought up the word captivate. Underneath the word, they have it split into syllables. And then right after we have the phonetic pronunciation. Of course, you can also listen to the word captivate. But what we're really interested in here are these little marks. There's one up high before the first syllable and there's one down low before the second syllable. And what that is telling us is that the primary stress is the one that comes after this mark up high and the secondary stress is a syllable that comes after this mark down low. Cap Debate. And to demonstrate, as I said, that not all multisyllable words are created equal, I have brought up capricious. Here again, split into syllables. And here phonetically, capricious. As you can see, we only have the mark before the st primary stressed syllable. So Miriam Webster agrees with me that they're not hearing a secondary stress. Capricious. So there you have it. All the tips you need to practice and to train your ear to hear those stressed syllables so that you can then make your metered verse sing. In future videos, I'll be discussing how those stressed syllables can work in unstressed beats in metered verse and what to do with those single syllable words that are all one big primary stress. So do check back. If you're new here and find the content useful, please consider subscribing and check out all my other videos. And we'll see you next time. Ciao.